Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Johnny Quest on the Amstrad CPC. Now, not so long ago, I did play this on the Commodore 64, and I thought it was a fucking difficult game to play. So let's see how this plays on the CPC. Right, got nice colourful graphics. Seems to move quicker, but I don't think you can run on this version. But when he walks, it walks a lot quicker than the Commodore 64 version. I don't think those things at the bottom can kill you. Alright. Starts you, on a, starts you off in a different position. On the CPC version, jumping mechanics are a lot easier than the CPC. What the fuck? All oh, right. Right. Now, what was instant death on the Commodore sixty four? We didn't find. Oh shit! That thing will kill ya. Right, so we got a key, we'll go through the door. So you can't run in this version, I don't know why. Right, I've got the key. Open the door, don't waste your time. They still take a bit of energy off you if you bump into them. Oh, she can get full jet damage. I mean, it moves quite nicely. Be fair, I think even the Commodore 64 version was flip screen. Right, so I need the key. So you just walk into the key. You don't have to push anything to pick up. You just walk straight into it. Damn it. So this come out by, I think, High Tech Software. So this would have been a budget game. I think it come out in the early 90s, 91, something like that. I didn't even know this was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. So I don't know what anything about this cartoon. Right, I will say the jump mechanics are a lot more easier on this version in the Commodore 64 version so it's a lot nicer to play I would say on the CPC oh, what was that? right there's a door there because I couldn't even get past it I couldn't even get this far the Commodore 64 version right so that key's being guarded so you do have to use up to jump. Right, what do I do now then? Oh, so this is a bouncy thing. Damn it. Ah! Ah, oh, right, okay. They're a lot easier to knock out. Oh, I want to get up. Fucking hell, get full damage. So you can only knock them out then. Oh, damn it. So I've still got two more keys. Done it. Right, that opens the door. Oh, there's a key there. I need to... Am I going to... Right. Ah, damn it! Game over, so you only still get the one life on this version, as well as the Commodore 64 version. Let's have another go. Yeah, so I got further on this version than the Commodore 64 version, and this was on my first ever go. 
So this version is easier to play. And the jump is actually good on this. Graphics are nice and colourful. I like the graphics. The only thing you can't do on this version is run. Well, in the Commodore 64 version, you can run. Unless there's something I am actually doing wrong. Nah. Oh, how did I do that? No, I don't think there's any way you can run. So, right, I went in the water. It only takes energy off you. Commodore 64 version, it was instant death. Yeah, this is much better. At least they're easier to knock out on this, but only you only stun them. You don't actually knock them out. There, this is a much easier version to play. Oh, I ain't got a fucking key, have I? I've got to go the other way. So they, don't, they do take a little bit of energy off you. Now, if I had this back in the day. I'd Definitely would have played it. Fucking hell, that still takes a bit of energy off you. Now, I wish there was a way that you can possibly replenish energy. Um, and I wish it, on this game you got more than one life. One life's... I think you do need more than one life on this game. But yes, hell of an improvement over the Commodore 64 version. This bit, you could, I couldn't figure out how to get up on. The Commodore 64 version's differently laid out here. I couldn't even get past that bit. So that's a lot easier. Oh, is there anything, do I really need to waste my time going over there? Okay. So I ain't got much energy left. Oh. oh, fuck it! Let's have one more go. No, I think... Because the fact he walks so much faster than the Commodore 64 version, you don't even need to have a run mechanic. But if you've played this game on the CPC, is there a run mechanic or a run option? If so, I can't seem to find it. Or don't you need it? Because he walks fast anyway. So it's good that the water don't instantly kill you on this version. Unlike the Commodore 64 version, it does. Oh, oh! Oh shit! Can't duck, can't um, kneel or crouch down on this. But then again, I can't remember if you could on the Commodore 64 version. I didn't lose so much energy there. Uh, oh, I didn't lose energy there. Oh, fucking what's going on? Fuck off! All right. Oh bollocks! Need the key. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, 
Yeah, he just walk. Yeah, he walks fine. I mean. fine yeah I think you need about three lives in this game though or more or at least some places where you can top up your energy so yeah I can only imagine this game will be a little bit difficult to play well I'm finding it but surely there must be ways of topping up your energy because you can't surely complete this game on the little bit of energy you're providing with at the start. Oh shit. I can't jump. Right, here we go. Oh bollocks, need a key. Shit, I've got a key, I thought I've got a key. Oh, I've got the wrong key though, that's the... I've got to get this key, there we go. Get this key. Right, should I open the door now? Yes. See, so at least you don't have to fuck about what key does what. It does it all automatically for you. So it's that thing. That's going to be the bastard to get. I've got a key, so yeah, that thing's gonna be a bastard. Right, so I need that key. So I need to bounce up there. Just keep your um, joystick pointing upwards and jump. No, not jump tight enough. Yeah, here we go. So that opens that door. Somehow I need to get that key. Where that thing is. So. Oh! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Right. Okay. Now, I think... Nah, fuck it, I've got to go all the way around again. Bollocks. Yeah, I wish you, I wish there was a, a run option here. Oh, bollocks. Now I've only got a minimal amount of energy. She so bounce up here. Here we go. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. But I think we'll leave it there. At least I've got a lot for, well, a bit further than the Commodore 64 version. And I honestly rather play this version over the Commodore 64 version because it plays better. The jump's easier. Um, the water don't instantly kill you. And yeah, it's a lot more fun to play. Well, I'll say it ain't that much fun. To, ain't a fun game to play, but it's no way as frustrating to play as the Commodore 64 version. Graphics are nice and colourful. Not No music, but oh well. But it would have been a budget title. Oh, say that again, a budget title. So 91, you would have been paying 2 99 for it. So 2 99 I'd, I'd say that's value for money. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.